People often imagine President Lincoln with a deeper voice, but firsthand accounts from that era consistently describe the 16th president as sounding high-pitched and very, very wet. His voice was kind of a soggy squeal, like a fire alarm that came to life and then immediately drowned. Stephen Douglas, Lincoln's rival senatorial candidate in 1858, wrote, Over the course of our debates, I've come to develop a true respect for the piercing wet gargle coming out of that skeleton mouth of his. It's believed that the origin of Lincoln's speaking style can be traced to his boyhood in the Kentucky backwoods, where the bird prank happened. The bird prank was a formative experience for Lincoln's voice. He was just nine years old when, after a long day of work on the farm, his father pranked him by putting a tiny live bird in Lincoln's bowl of stew. Lincoln swallowed it, and the wet bird fused to his vocal cords, creating Lincoln's signature damp chirp. No one's 100% sure what species of bird it was, but old photos of Lincoln's throat suggest a sandpiper or perhaps a snipe. As we understand it, Lincoln was a man with many different speaking modes. When speaking to his wife or any other female acquaintance, he would never close his mouth. Even as president, his mouth was always wide open if a woman was within 100 feet of him. Lincoln talking to his wife would approximate to something along the lines of, Alternatively, if Lincoln was speaking to soldiers of the Union Army, he'd never open his mouth. He kept it closed as a sign of respect for the military. Later on in his life, shortly after the Civil War ended, Lincoln got shot, and that gave him a rich, smooth baritone. John Wilkes Booth walked into Ford's theater, said, Lincoln, I simply got to see that bird, shot the president in the head, and just like that, Lincoln's voice dropped four octaves. Almost immediately, Lincoln was rushing the stage and began singing with his brand new resonant voice. Lincoln supposedly sang for three hours before he passed on, swatting away every doctor who tried to treat the bullet wound in his head. He sang and sang, taking requests from the audience and punching doctor after doctor until he finally wandered into the theater's bathroom and passed away while serenading people inside the stalls. Lincoln's farewell concert was a bittersweet moment in American history. On the one hand, people got to hear the president sing all their favorite songs in his brand new baritone. On the other hand, he died in the bathroom. Beyond the wisdom of Lincoln's words, it was the sopping, wet way in which he articulated them and the deep bass of his final sing-along that made his legacy one of the most profoundly consequential in American history. He was truly one of a kind. <laughs>